Hello people, it's Rolfie back here with yet another video. I'm going over the top here, I think. I'll have to stop. Nope, let's carry on. So this video is just a quick one. Maybe not a quick one, ins and outs, etc. I'm going to show you my digital library, how I access it. So of both Apple TV as well as Google Play. So you know those little slips you get inside your Blu-rays and your DVDs and not your DVDs, well possibly, and your 4Ks. I'll show it. Well, I won't show you, but I'll show my collection um, for US, Canadian, some Australian, as well as the UK ones. Um, so yeah, let's get the show on the road. Hello, right, we're back again. So I'm going to do a bit of a hands-free one. This it's not going to be static. I'm going to flip the camera around shortly and show you what we're doing. Oh, by the way, my TV is a Samsung 55-inch smart TV. I think it's a 2018-19 model. Uh, I did want a 65-inch, but the wife said no. 55 is enough. Anyway, moving on swiftly. Okay, so here we go. Here we've got the TV. Soundbar underneath it, just a random 70 quid Samsung one. PlayStation 4. Virgin Box, 4K box, uh, 4K player even, uh, good old Alexa. No, she's not responding on the PlayStation controllers. That's about it really. So as normal with any kind of smart TV, you've got the options. So Netflix, Disney Plus, Google. So these are the two here that I use the most. So quickly go to Google Play, let that one load up. Here we go. Some of the titles on here are 4K, some of them are HD. It all basically depends on where you've redeemed them from. So there's a bit of glare on the TV, but I'll move it over, there we go. So I'll just go down to my library, move across to movies, and here we go. So these are all the movies that I now currently own uh, on Google Play. So for example, look at 1917, we can see at the bottom that that one is in 4K with HDR. Not all of them are. That, that was a Canadian code, I think, I can't quite remember. Anyway, as you can see, I've got quite a few on here. That's just the A's. You see, it goes on and on. So I've got quite a vast collection on my good old Google Play. Um, some of them, like I said, it was an American code, Canadian codes. It all basically depends where I get them from on Facebook. Buy a code, five, six dollars. Exchange rate, you're paying four quid. Sometimes you're getting the codes before they've got a UK release. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. So these, I'll just quickly go through it, and there you go. That's all mine. Now go back, and then I've also got TV shows, and I've got those ones on there. So I then go to my Apple TV. Now here, this currently is my US login, as you can see, because I've got Call of the Wild, oh, onward, Days of Thunder. So if I go to my library in here, now this will be a different setup to people who've got Apple TV little boxes. Uh, if I go to TV show movies, so these are all my ones here that I have. It's a bit not very good to show because of the contrast, but you can see all of these ones I've got on here. Some, some of them like Dark Waters. I don't know if that's got UK release. It probably has. I'm that one that far behind because I get them and then they come out by the time I get around to catching them. Um, so yeah. You can see all those ones on there. Uh, boom, 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 boom. And that one there is thanks to Big Paulie. Thank you very much, sir. And we'll keep moving down. And as you can see, um, they're on there. So if we go back to the top, here's a little trick that I've discovered. And I go to settings. Now you can see here I've logged in as a Paul Molly Robinson. Now if I click on that and I change that, I've got different IDs down here. So that's my UK one. That's my Canadian one. Now the Canadian one, if I quickly load that one up, uh, you'll see that I've only got two films in there, Child's Play and Midway. But if we go back, click on that again, and then we'll go down to the UK one. Uh, we've got quite a few in here. So these are all the UK ones, so either from old iTunes from the from Blu-rays in the past or from buying them on iTunes when they get released uh, in the UK. Some cheap ones, some expensive ones. That's my most recent one, Tomb Raider. 
uh, 4K release, 3.99. Had to get it. I did, I've had it on Blu-ray, Blu-ray 3D, sold it. 3.99 is on 4K now. Not the best of movies, but the 3D, 4K quality is quite good. It's another one, 4K only on, on digital for uh, Vanilla Sky. That's it. So, there you go. That's my current collection and where I go to use all mine. Hope you enjoyed that little section. Right, so there you go. That's my Google Play and Canadian, US and UK, of all places, since Olivia, collection. Um, I'm not going to go through each one. It was a bit pointless. But if you had a look back, you can pause it, rewind it. You can have a look and see what uh, movies are on there or TV shows and Google Play, etc. Uh, if you want to know how to get them uh, or how to get Google Play, US, Canadian and add them onto your TV, then let me know. Um, so, yeah, so that's it. Just a quick video. It's much quicker than go through a Blu-ray collection because you can just zoom through them. Uh, yeah, like I said, get in touch. Don't mind. Um, you can message me on Facebook via Put Big Paulie's group. I'm in there. Or find me yourself, Paul Robinson, or just drop me a comment on here and I'll get back to you with some info. Uh, thanks for the continuing likes. Thanks for the continuing comments. Um, subscribe. Thank you. Uh, and that's it. So three videos in one day, ladies, gents. I am bloody spotting you, aren't I? Anyway, peace out. Roll for you out. Uh, have a good evening. Um, oh, I'm going to watch The Purge tonight since I got the collection today. So I'm going to watch the first Purge in 4K tonight. Not that you're interested, but I thought I'd let you know. Anyway, have a good one and I'll catch you next time.